All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special guest with us, Max Torno here, who is my business coach and used to be a very famous dating coach back in the days. Back in the days. That's how I started personally to get into dating as well. Back in the days, I used to have people who would like take a transatlantic flight from some country that we would never go to just to be taught by us in person. And the problem there is like, I appreciated it that they would, they would be so committed, but at the same time, you know, you live in whatever, somewhere in Europe and now you fly to like Miami yeah. to, be co to be coached or you're in a completely different environment. And then you go back home and then you're like, oh, all of a sudden you have the same problems that you have that you've had before. And with the online thing, what I've noticed is, well, first of all, you can basically, you know, reach your, your ideal coach anywhere in the world. And it gives you a little bit of self-governance on top of that because the coach can't be physically there. Mm -hmm. The coach is consulting you on what to do, can of course push you and can do the inner work that's necessary, like you said, to own your emotions. But at the same time, you still have to do that yourself. And when you kind of do that with the help of a coach, but you still kind of like have to do it yourself in your environment, that's where real change can actually happen. It might be a little bit more difficult in the beginning, but if you now have, you know, something you're in a coaching program like yours, for example, and you're there over certain weeks, it's like you do the inner work and then you go out and you do it yourself with the guidance that has been given to you. So you get, you get in a position of, of self-empowerment and then you can replicate these things over and over again. And if you have an online coach there that understands that dynamic, you're already ahead of most of the guys out there because not a lot of guys have realized that yet that they have to move into online and own the offline on top of that. Yeah, and especially for guys who, like uh, the clients we help, are successful in their career, they usually focus on their personal growth, they don't have that time to go yeah. out, spend a lot of time, day out, night, you know, like all these things that used to happen back then, mm -hmm. and they need something more effective to, to get them to the results fast with the right guidance. They usually struggle with online dating, so yeah. like whether it's uh, online dating apps or Instagram, like how would you suggest someone to get started with that depending on who you want to go for your profile will be completely and utterly different and that is also something you got to communicate and if you really think about it to connect with the business part it's 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 all it's like marketing you're marketing yourself basically instead of your business but you know what you, well, one of the first things you do that we do for example for our clients is we say okay what is your skill how can you be positioned and who is your ideal target audience that you can then communicate properly to with your positioning, right? And then you create what we call a client avatar of say, this is the average kind of person that we work with, right? And uh, you can kind of do something similar with your partner, whether you're a guy or a girl, it's the same. Become aware of who you are and who you want in your life and then, and then basically figure out, okay, what would the version of me look like that is with that person? And how could I reflect that image online? And of course, it should also fit to who you really are. You shouldn't just fake it online because the latest moment when you actually meet that person that you're gonna have a bad time. So of course you have to have a real life aspect as well. Like you need to know yourself first, like really know what you want, what you like. There needs to be a little bit of exploration, you know, of course, to know what you really wanna do, what you really wanna have. Uh, but after you have that with the proper guidance and putting some systems in place, you can really have it easy and uh, fulfilling. That's the most important part. You can have it and some people have it, but. This is not fulfilling, especially for guys who are hyper focused on their growth. Yeah. Then they kind of live in that in that situation where they have to choose. You think maybe right now watching this, oh, I like that type of per person. I would like to have that type of partner in my life. But once you have it experienced, you might actually go for polar opposites. So you have to have, be open minded for that to be changing over time. Yeah, that's 100 percent accurate. I think you sh and that's also where the guidance help. Uh, you shouldn't be shy or ashamed to walk away from a relationship that happened to me personally. So you, you probably I mean, have been through several relationships happens very often. I just moved away from a relationship that didn't serve me or my lifestyle or just realized something needed to change to get into a new one that is more uh, fulfilling aligned and where I mean you've actually met uh, my girlfriend right now That's right. she's extremely positive helps me in every area of life and uh, she pushes the best out of me just something that you know pushes you in every single area of your life so um, that's something that we actually take care of at the limitless mentoring we want you to have that support in your professional personal growth and life just so that you don't waste time honestly and that, and that is huge especially for guys that are that are career driven to 
a re, a, the right partner can ruin your career and yeah. your business life. Uh, the, the wrong partner can ruin it and the right partner can absolutely take it to the next level. Like so many guys out there, I see this over and over again. They say like, oh, I'm focused on my career, blah, blah, blah. Therefore, I don't have time for a partner. They don't realize that the right partner can be the, the, the best thing for your business and for your career. But it's got to be the right one. Yeah, I'm going to tell a personal story. So I started to work very hard on my business and that's really when it took off. When I got out of one of those relationships, you know, and I was yeah. single again and I was able to date whoever I wanted, as I wanted. Because there are women who will empower you when they're dating them and others that will empower you when you're in relationships with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I got outside of that previous relationship that I just talked about, that's where uh, I started to have even more growth. So like every time something like that happens, you take it to a next level with someone that is more empowering until you basically find probably someone that you can stick uh, with on the long term. But uh, that's also something I think we're very honest as a dating coach and as an ex-dating coach. There is no problem whatsoever in changing relationships. And that's something that usually fucks up guys for several years. So the question is, if you had to give one advice to someone who is who has spent most of his life in his personal growth, has done a lot of personal growth, a lot of meditation, work on himself, sports, all that stuff, has built a career, but has neglected that area of his life. The dating area? The dating area and, you know, the romantic, even, even friends, connections, like basically the social life. Yeah. Uh, what would be the main advice that we would give to that person? He's 30, 34. Very easy. He's already doing the right thing because he's working with you. And I say this honestly because what you've done is you've built yourself consciously an environment that aids you at what you've done so far, which is the personal development, the growth, probably the cold showers, the meditation, the career. And you've co probably consciously or subconsciously have, have kind of neglected an environment that would be conducive for growth in the dating realm. So you basically, it's almost like you created a blind spot for yourself. You created people around you, mentors around you, friends and family around you that say, wow, so great, career, career, personal growth, personal growth, you're doing it right, it's all good. But then at some point he made a decision, probably with you on a call or because he was watching your content to say, oh, hold on, there was this blind spot, there is this thing that I've been neglecting on purpose and then there was this outside force, aka you, that says, hey, this sucks. What you've done is partly good, but here's a bad thing that's you, you don't have a partner. Let's go work on that. And you need oftentimes that outside force because especially when you're 33, 34, you have a lot of years of just dwelling in that comfort zone. And the older you get, this is hard. If you're some 18-year-old dude, it's going to be fairly easy for that person to just change his lifestyle. But for 34 year old, I'm 31 now. I just have to think about it. I'm 31 now. I turned 31 a couple, a couple of months ago. For even for me, it's hard to get rid of habits now, you know, because you, you've been doing it for 30 plus years now. That is, it's really hard to dig yourself out of that yourself. That's why you need to have that outside force that basically takes you by the hand, you know, verbally, metaphorically slaps you and says, hey, wake up, this is BS. And like you said, I love what you said there. You're like, in all areas of your life that are important to you, you have mentors. So do I, right? We have mentors that are making much more money than us for the business thing. I have mentors for mobility. I have mentors for fitness. I have mentors for everything that's important in my life because I'm like, I myself, I'm not going to do it, right? I'm busy as it is. I'm running a multiple seven-figure company. I have 25 employees. I'm managing this. I'm creating content myself. I'm taking care of my clients like you. I'm busy. If I don't have my mentor calling me and he's like, did you do your mobility exercise today? If I don't have that, I'm not going to do it. So it helps and it's, it's worth the money, you know? I mean, I pay my mobility mentor alone multiple four figures each and every month just to like basically tell me what exercises to do. The internet could tell me that, but it's the touch point that I have that makes it, that, that transformation. puts, the transformation, yeah. It puts me in a, in, a, in a position where I have to be responsible to someone else and therefore I get the results. Yep. And um, to add to what you just said, for most people neglecting one of those areas of their lives, it's basically a distraction. Most people think they're saving some time or some energy or whatever to focus on their career, their business, their whatever skill they want to learn, where in reality, it's just to distract themselves from looking at that area. 
that could be a major change in their life. So I, I always say personal growth actually starts when you do it, when you're in a relationship or when you get into relationships, everything changes, the whole dynamic changes, you discover yourself more than anything else. Everything needs to change from there. So I love what you just said there. Um, so look, Max, thanks a lot for this interview. Uh, for if if uh, people wanna do something like me, which is start our own business, uh, how should they reach out to you and uh, what's the best way to be in touch? Very simple, maxtorno.com. There you have more information there. You also have a free training video on there. Um, otherwise, you can also reach me on Instagram, max underscore torno. So website and Instagram is the best. Yeah, I actually have several of my clients who got interested in uh, working in your program. I have one who signed up Sweet. actually pretty recently. I recommend the program to him, obviously. And, um, you know, we'll go follow Max. He has a lot of great content on Instagram. And... Uh, you know, I did it, so <laughs> you can do too. Uh, and yeah, just to wrap it up, it was David and Max today uh, for the Limitless Mentoring, and I see you in the next video.